we both deeply enjoyed the show Sex Education. Have any of you seen it? Yes. 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 It's a great piece, a great show. Um, yes. Anyway, so this is from the perspective of Otis. Otis. Um, this is this is from kind of like one of the early parts of the first episode. Yes. Um, kind of establishing his character. Okay, it's called Tissues Slash Issues. <laughs> <laughs> A dirty magazine, slightly rumpled, <laughs> with tissues on the ground, kind of crumpled. <laughs> Put it on display, so explicit that she couldn't miss it. I only can pray she'll go away. <laughs> Put a little stain on my bedding for a delicately suggestive setting. Finish it up with lotion to give her the notion that all my emotions are surely in check. That I am not a complete wreck. That my system is working. I'm constantly jerking, but um, fuck. I can't come. Honey, you should try a sock. She should know of all people that these kinds of issues are wrapped up in tissues. It's not like I want them up and freeze. When I encounter the birds and the bees, there's something that's lacking with all of this whacking. I think that I need a yearn for something deeper and complex. There must be something more to love than sex. I always believed I'd be 38, reading Tolstoy and Plath with my perfect mate. It would be grand, but it can't begin until I let someone in. I want to take that dive to feel more. But how do you even begin to let someone in? How do you get some when it all feels so numb? <laughs> I can't even come. <laughs> uh, 